Hello, I'm Dr. David Cathcart. I'm a family practice physician from Heartland Regional Medical Center in St. Joseph, Missouri, and I'm here today to talk to you about cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy can be treated in several different ways, and it really depends on the stage that it's caught in. If, by chance, uh, someone is fortunate enough to uh, have their cerebral palsy diagnosed in its very earliest stage, and perhaps even in the days that they uh, are still at the hospital after delivery, there, are some, there is some evidence out there that uh, aggressive nutritional support programs might help those that have cerebral palsy have less effects of that disorder later in life. Unfortunately though, once the symptoms have set in, the treatment is much more difficult and, and uh, much harder to reverse. And treatment is usually directed with things such as muscle relaxers and pain medications, occupational therapy and physical therapy to help people m maneuver better. Some uh, other treatment programs that are interesting are th using things like Botox. For example, Botox, you know, we usually think of it as, as using it to remove wrinkles and help uh, with the purposes of aging. And it works by actually paralyzing the muscles that cause wrinkles. So when we get Botox injections up in our forehead, it's because it really paralyzes those muscles. Well, same thing with Botox in people who have muscle contractures from cerebral palsy. It paralyzes those muscles and actually makes them relax. So it can help with some of the problems that are associated with contractures. Uh, other types of treatment, particularly for those that have uh, severe contractures, would be uh, for example, surgery, cut the tendons or to partially cut the tendons to relieve some of the pressure uh, that someone may have from those severe contractures. Another interesting uh, treatment that has recently been uh, uh, described is hyperbaric oxygen. Uh, there's not really a full or a good understanding of how that works. Uh, and there are more studies that need to be done in that area, but hyperbaric oxygen, at least in some people with cerebral palsy, has been shown to improve function. Now, there are some other treatments out there that are a little more bizarre, but the treatment for cerebral palsy is wide and varied and is somewhat dependent on the stage that you're diagnosed in. Work closely with your doctor if you have cerebral palsy and he'll help find the right methods that are best for you. This is Dr. Cathcart talking about the treatment for cerebral palsy.